On the corner of Highland Avenue in Somerville, a storefront that doesn't really need a sign. The smell of it is, is what gets you. The eclectic aroma of sweet and savory spices has your taste buds tingling from blocks away. Mixing the artisan batches where an assorted blend of nuts get a balanced boost in flavor, Q Quinn of Q's Nuts. With more than 20 years of roasting behind that apron, he has a hearty repertoire of recipes. I probably have like 20 flavors in production, and I have over 100 recipes I've written over the years. 22 years ago, Q and his wife Beth thought they would maybe roast a few batches. We wanted another source of income, but we wanted to create a business as a family and have the kids work with us. Aiden Quinn was just eight years old, the first time he helped his family stir up these crunchy creations on their homemade nut cart. I learned to work hard. I learn to be passionate about what we do. We started out with a traditional Bavarian roast, which you see everywhere. It's basically uh, cinnamon and vanilla. We started with the basics. Anything but basic now. Gluten, soy, and dairy-free. From the unique... We do some pretty wild stuff. We partner with a mushroom farm, and we do a, a chocolate mushroom almond. To a rotating roast of customer favorites. The maple bourbon pecans. Sweet roast cashews, the rosemary sea salted cashews, one of my favorites, the Mexican chocolate hazelnuts. It's very much dependent on the flavor profile. The team says there is a great deal of experimentation, thanks to Q's creative calling. Can't throw outside the lines. So it's, you know, I can only cook sugar, cinnamon, and vanilla so long, right? Every recipe out there probably has a story behind it on where it came from. Including the Bananas Foster, inspired by Brennan's famous New Orleans dessert. The sweet and sassy is the hottest thing I do. And it was definitely hot. If I'm cooking them when we're open, customers start to bail out. Thankfully, they come back. Most of the ingredients locally sourced. The fruits even freeze-dried on site. High in mango. That's right up my alley. That's our maple bourbon. It's the most popular flavor. It has organic raw sugar with maple and real bourbon. Terrible. Don't come here and buy these. I'm getting them off. <laughs> As the fog begins to lift over the rolling hills of Green Hill Park in Worcester, a sight that has not been commonly seen here for more than a century, Lois Brault Malikin with the American Chestnut Cooperators Foundation collects the nuts from an American chestnut tree. The chestnut blight went through Massachusetts about 1915, so there's not too many people alive today who remember chestnut trees. The American chestnut was once a dominant force in the forests of New England. They grew tall and fast until the turn of the 20th century and the introduction of the deadly blight. When the chestnut blight came through, the wildlife populations really took a nosedive because it was one of their prime foods. In 1912, the New York Times warned that the American chestnut was doomed. Just a few years later, it would be functionally extinct in Massachusetts, meaning they still grow here in surprisingly great number, but they are now more shrub than tree. If you walk through the woods today, you will find chestnut sprouts nearly everywhere because the chestnut blight is a Bach disease, so the top of the tree dies, but the roots stay alive. But Brote Malikin is part of a growing number of people trying to repopulate the local landscape with towering American chestnuts. From these seedlings to this tree now five years old. It's such a great tree and it's also a great food product. It's like bread on trees. The partnership with Green Hill Parks Coalition is growing. We see a North American chestnut grow that hasn't grown here since over 100 years ago. That's pretty exciting. Most of us know the chestnut from the images of holiday roasting and catchy lyrics, but inside its prickly burr, a velvety soft nut with some pretty appealing qualities. All nuts are good for you, but most nuts are like 70 to 80 percent fat. Chestnut is less than 5 percent fat, and it has um, complex carbohydrates, it has more vitamin C than a lemon. 
Yeah. And back to Q-Nuts, they actually offer more flavors at their Boston Public Market location, and they just opened a new roasting facility in Methuen. And good news, you can serve as a taste tester. All right, mm. you can just try samples <laughs> at all of their locations. They're good. Mm -hmm. They're really good. All right.